Hello, and welcome back for another OS Ticket tutorial. Today, I will be going over how to configure emails in your help desk using an Outlook email address. First, go to Admin Panel, Emails. Click on an email to configure or add a new email. I'll go ahead and add a new email. The email address and email name are what users and agents will see when alerts and notices are sent to their email. Since I'm doing one for maintenance, I will go ahead and click the department as maintenance. The new ticket settings allow you to specify which department, priority, or help topic you want new tickets to be assigned when new tickets come in. You also have the option to disable auto responses for emails. We'll just leave the rest of the settings as the defaults. The email login information is where you will put in the email and password for the email address you will actually be using in your help desk. These should be the same credentials you would use to log in and see your inbox. Go ahead and save these changes before moving on to the next step. Keep in mind that if you are using your own email server, you will need to make sure that none of the ports we use are blocked by your firewall. Before moving on, let's talk about host names. You can find which settings to use by going to your Outlook inbox, clicking Settings, and then searching for IMAP. Click the Pop and IMAP option. If you want to use Pop, go ahead and enable it. I'm going to use IMAP, so I'll leave this unchecked. Below, you can see the host names as well as ports to use for SMTP and IMAP. If you use your own custom email server and do not know what host names to use, you can do an MX lookup for your domain. If you Google MX lookup, you'll find tools that allow you to go type in your domain and they'll let you know what to use as the host name. Now that we have our host name, let's go ahead and set everything up. Let's head back to the help desk. We'll start with SMTP. Go ahead and enable it. The host name is smtp.office365.com. The port number is 587. You need to make sure that yes is checked for authentication required and you can leave header spoofing unchecked. Go ahead and click save to make sure these settings are valid. Now we will set up fetching. Click enable for the status. As mentioned before, I'm going to be using IMAP for this example. For the host name, we'll use outlook.office365.com. The port number will depend on if you choose IMAP or POP. Here are the different port options. We suggest using IMAP plus SSL. For this option, the port number will be 993. The fetch frequency determines how often your help desk will try to fetch tickets. You should keep this number relatively low so that you can ensure you are receiving tickets in a timely manner. I'll set mine to fetch every minute. You can choose the number of emails that you would like to be fetched at a time based on how active your help desk is. 
I'll set mine to 30. Finally, you need to decide what happens to emails in your inbox once they've been fetched as tickets. If you choose to move them to a folder, they will be moved out of the normal inbox into the folder specified. Outlook will create the folder for you automatically. If you choose to delete the emails, they will be completely removed from your inbox after they're fetched. If you choose to do nothing with emails after they're fetched, they'll remain in the inbox. The best option is to move them to a folder, that way you can ensure everything is running smoothly. It also ensures that you still have the original emails as a backup in case you need that as a reference at any point in the future. I'll choose to move mine to a folder called OS Ticket. Now you can go ahead and save these changes and make sure everything saves smoothly. Once everything saves correctly, you just need to enable email fetching. Go to Admin Panel, Emails, Settings. And then go ahead and enable email fetching. This one is already enabled from the last video, so we're good to go. Note that fetching on Autocron is something that you would have to set up using a task scheduler. For example, you could create a cron job. For the purposes of this video, we'll keep things simple and leave this option unchecked. Before we test sending and receiving emails, I just want to note that you may see something like this if you've never sent emails from your Outlook account before. If so, you must verify your account before Outlook will send emails. Now, all you need to do is make sure that you can send and receive mail. Let's start by sending out a test email. You can do this within your help desk by going to Admin Panel, Emails, Diagnostic. Choose the email we just configured and type the email address you want to send a test email to. Don't forget to type a short test message. Now you can check your inbox and confirm that the email sent successfully. Now let's test creating a ticket. Use the email address you just configured. It may take a little while to come in, so be patient. As you can see, we now have a new ticket. When we go to the inbox, we can also see that the ticket was moved from the inbox to the OS ticket folder. That's all for this tutorial. For more OS Ticket tutorials, subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. To find out more about OS Ticket, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching!